this the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on Jupiter. Need I remind you, fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Just curious. Redanian army regulars, right? Lance Corporal Vaclav reporting. And this bloke's my subordinate, Private Kleiner. Careful you don't piss yourself out of excitement. You say something, soldier. Not a thing. Shouldn't you be somewhere? There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission, guard the auction house. Priority, high top, in fact. Poor Sodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high ranking sell their war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that's confidential military information. Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besodi. Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. The afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Corporal Vatslav stick a broomstick up his ass. Kleiner, need I remind you of the penalty for insulting a superior? Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi, the banker from. Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Vatslav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I've... But I plough and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. But my orders... Fuck your orders! Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought not. No! Stand to attention! And shut your giggy! Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Sot it! Now march! Round you go! One, two, one, two! Appreciate the help. Twas night. I've always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimmy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Ah-ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica... Mm. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitists of the Maribor School. Van der Neuve and Longendijk. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? Could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid offered Horst a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've near seen a purer example of the benevolent state. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little I keep his soul. But Horst is like to show his head during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only if I clicked on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. Papa J. Egg? Why go past insects? <laughs> a giant's. Or maybe a Jotun's. Goblet of fire. Wonder what it is. Zeracanian spears. Excellent adornments for any parlor wall. Codex Redaniensis, sole surviving copy. Beautiful, but first blow would shatter them. 
I've thirty hmm. going. This one probably right. also belonged to sorceress. Right. Fed it. Hmm. This one probably also belonged to sorceress. Fetish, maybe? From the collection of the mage Aramis. Geralt! You thought about... Lovely sculpture. Probably end up adorning somebody's garden. At a starting price of 2,000 crowns. Hmm. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye? And? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corner's Hilbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing Gwent. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> Yaramir, uh, might we trouble ye a wee spell? Mm -hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. About the paintings on the block today. Hmm? Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes, whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Nobe? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem, so do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Nobe, the master from Maribor. Piece, if I'm not mistaken. You err deeply. I bid you adieu. What a jackass. Ah, fuck him. Typical arse cunt. I've grown accustomed. Funny! Duke Clivet declared. Greetings to the Honorable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin... what now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions... Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us, humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations, dating from my oh-so-distant youth. Didn't you say such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Vedomaniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece. What would it be? An armor element. An antique. School of the Wolf. From 1234. Classic. 
Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%. A modest uh, uh, transaction fee. Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horst Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic, Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes... Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vim. There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he, if you don't mind my asking? Don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued. A notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met. Something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes. But also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued, then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me. Did he at least die like a witcher? No. He died like a hero. There is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts.